lights, camera, action. Welcome to the Scrapbook Podcast, Director's Cut. And welcome back to the Scrapbook Podcast, Director's Cut. I am your host, Jody Pratt, with my fellow host, Patrick Wigfall. And we are here once again to give you the gold, the pure gold from our minds. As you know, the Director's Cut is personal stories from Patrick and myself uh, that we come up with. Ralph, uh, a little bit of growth, not very much, but uh, our first draft, our first draft of um, our story. But yeah, go ahead, brother. All right, so this story is loose, bro. It's a it's a teen mom after pregnancy, loose, right? Yeah, you can <laughs> breathe a hole through that bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. So <laughs> the story starts in the Greek era. So I'd say the golden age. I'm not gonna give you the date because go fuck yourself. That's all you need to know. It's the golden age. And the story centers around a nobleman who is uh, wrongly convicted of a crime that he did not commit. Uh, he uh, is convicted of, I'd say, high theft. You know, something really important that people don't, uh, like something, maybe maybe something that like is like on some priestly shit, like on, like on some God shit. And so maybe he like took from a, a altar, yeah, to a god, go. an altar, and and it's more of like he got bumped into by the person who was stealing it, mm. and and the person saw them coming around the corner, and he dropped. It. He's like, I'm not gonna pick it up. And the dude's like, Hey man, you dropped this, and then they're just like, Hey, hey, hey give us that. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. like, You you stole from the you stole from the uh you know, whatever. And so they're like, He's like, oh, I didn't do this, and they're like, It was in your hands, so they blind him. You know, old school times. Damn. They don't believe in um, rational. Due process? Yeah, nah, nah, none of that. God none of that. damn. This is, the, this is the day and age where, like, if, if it rained weird, niggas were like, Poseidon's mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is one of those, <laughs> those time periods. And so um, they blind him, publicly blind him, and they, and they, they throw him out into the, to the world on this path. Pathway out of town. Oh, oh, so so all of what he's had is gone. Is now forcefully given to the god of that altar. You want to name it? Name uh, the god. Uh, let's go with um, Hermes. Dude, you know how we're simpatico because I was just thinking Hermes, but well, not think Hermes. I think feet. Yeah. Um, so it, that was the altar of Hermes, and now all of what he's given, all he, all what all he's of what built he owned, is now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so he he's pushed out into this world. He's pushed out into the exit of town, mm-hmm. and all they're telling him is, if you stay on this path, you'll make it to the next city, but go fuck yourself. Yeah, you know you're you're a piece of shit, and we don't take people stealing from altars out here. And by the way, this has no intervention from Hermes whatsoever. None. So far. None. Yeah. And so as he's walking, they've given him no sticks or anything to to guide him along his way. So he's stubbing his foot. He's stubbing his foot. He's going along and his feet become bloody from just stubbing his feet. He's, he's, he's going off the beaten trail. And so he hears a voice call him and say, hey, you know, and he called him by his name, which I'm going to call him Thaddeus. That's the only name I can think of off the top of my head uh, that reaches that time. He says, Thaddeus, uh, walk this way, brother. You know, I, I can help you along your journey. And he's like, why, why would you help me? I'm, you know, I'm a man of cues of crimes I did not commit. And he's like, I, I see the truth in you. I see, I understand that this isn't, this isn't your this shouldn't be your plight. This shouldn't be your story. So I want to give you something that can help you along your way. Can't give you your sight back, though. No, no. Because what is done to the flesh can't be undone. Ooh, nigga. Every once in a while, Patrick hits me with some shit. Off the tippy, baby. Make the coochie wet. <laughs> so, so. Suck uh, my pussy. <laughs> and man. <laughs> no, kiss it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> kiss, kiss it. Kiss my pussy. Kiss it. And so maybe that that is something that he does tell him. He's just like, you know, if you can fix my eyes, he's like, what's done to the flesh can't be undone. But I can give you a gift to help you along your way. 
Mm. And he's like, you, you have shown uh, a resilient spirit amidst your, your hard times, and I would like to help you. And he's like, how could you help me? And he's like, I can give you this staff. And the staff will give you, not sight, but it'll give you the awareness of where you're at. And also, it turns things gold. Hmm. And he's just like, okay, and he's like, but be sure not to touch this on people or, or, or living things. So strike the ground hard three times before you touch it to something. And he's like, okay. And he's like, if you don't do this, whatever you touch will turn into gold. What a, what a fucking God thing to do. Yeah. It's to give a blind man with nothing the possibility to have everything. Just like Midas's touch. You know what I'm saying? But but this has him having the wherewithal of the rules. And knowing that if he if he doesn't strike it three times on the floor before he touches it. Exactly. It else. doesn't work. But to give him like the possibility of owning the world now, mm -hmm. that's such a, a, uh, what is the word? It's such a, uh, I, I forget the word, but for a God to be like, Hey, here you go. It, a God will never help. give you anything not, without something on the back end. Exactly. And also he doesn't understand the consequences of this, this God who yeah. gives him this shit. He's just like, and all I'm seeing in my head is pictures in a book. That's of exactly. like a, of like a god like floating above him like handing him something like putting it on the floor by him and you almost see like devil horns on on the god but not because the god is evil but because the intention is to spoil the intention is to ruin this person if they go off of that straight and narrow so so it's really to justify the wrongdoings that he was accused of doing. Yes. There's still deceit the, in your the, heart. This is this is an assortment of trials to prove that you weren't you were wrongly convicted. Yeah. This is a judge of your gods. Instead of a judge of your peers, this yeah. is a judge of your gods. So so that you were accused correctly because you have that deceit in your heart. Yeah. And so this is define the, the purity in a heart. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Run it, run it, run it. There you go, baby. There you go. And so um, he gets that, and as he's walking, uh, he he runs into a family going past him, and the father's like, "Hey, you know, mind mind the mind the disabled man, the the blind guy, you know, whatever, the wretch." And um, the kid's like, "I want to touch the staff," and he pulls it away. He's like, "No, no, no, no," and he's like, "Hey, man, calm down. This is a fucking staff. You know, I'll go rip a branch off." And he's like, "You can't touch the staff," and he's just like. No, I know what I'm doing, and he's like, he's like, how about you give me the fucking staff then? And he goes to grab at it, and he pulls away, and he gets into like a little altercation, and instead of letting him touch it and turning into gold, he takes an L and like gets knocked down to the ground. Mm. And the dude stands over me, he's like, you ever yell at my kid again, bro? Next time I'll beat you to death with that damn staff. Exactly. Turns people into gold. And you're and you're a thief. I yeah. know what those marks. Can yeah, I know why your eyes aren't there. You still from fucking holy places, <laughs> nigga. You know why your eyes are absent? You know why you're barren of sight, nigga? <laughs> and so as he's uh as the dude's walking away and he hears the kid like, you know, giving his dad, you know, praise like, damn, you did that, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Yeah, you know, I beat up blind niggas all the time. <laughs> Flexing yeah, yeah. with no bicep. Pussy don't want it. <laughs> his wife is just like you got to stop fighting blind niggas. Yeah. You're always trying to fight blind people. Yeah, dude, you're like three and four with blind niggas. <laughs> that one nigga put, dropped you twice, <laughs> and then I stopped the fight. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so as the dude's walking away, he, he gets helped up by someone. He's like, hey, man, you know, are you good? And he was just like, yeah, you know, just a ruffian. Um, don't touch my staff. Don't touch my staff. And he's just like, okay, okay, okay. He's like, you you need a bodyguard out here, man. You look, you look like easy prey. And he's like, I mean, I I, I have a road to walk, and I don't know where the ending is at. Mm -hmm. So what what do you wear till tomorrow if you don't know where you're gonna end up, right? Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I can give you this uh, cloak, you know, and you know it, it'll make you look a little bit, a little bit meatier. 
when he gives it to him, he now is presented as a bigger man. And also a man of worth. Yes. So he is less, he is way more intimidating. Yeah. And so. So so he goes from. He goes from a blind nigga to now being like a really big oversized um, nigga. You remember the Dudleys? At least from wrestling, yeah, yeah, yeah. The th- 3D, yeah, yeah, 3D, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Remember Spike, the little nigga that they had? Mm. It was a third guy, and he was just was like, like a midget. He, nah, he's just a little fella, like he had to be like 130 pounds. Oh, so he was just like Mexican. No, no, he was just he's a white guy for sure. Oh, yeah, you know I mean, but Trey? uh, yeah, exactly, like a trade, <laughs> like okay. Uh, but yeah, so it, he'd go from that to like Hulk Hogan. And he's like, he's a intimidating figure, body. Uh, Master Roshi. Yeah, Master Roshi. Then Way he easier took off to the... explain than yeah. that long roundabout. <laughs> as Everybody ex- knew what I was talking about when I said the Dudley's third digger. 14 people knew. Yeah. And they're but, all But for sure, you're just like, <laughs> TV when I was young. <laughs> just watch <laughs> the veggies. The, what is that shit called? Uh, veggie toes. <laughs> like, I was in that bitch. I, I was like, it's slap. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, bet. Okay, <laughs> so he he looks intimidating now. Yeah, he looks intimidating. But but the thing is, what I, I there has to be a stipulation with with every gift. There's a stipulation, and I would say that the garment gets heavier the longer you wear it. So he can't be intimidating all the time. He has to pick and choose when he wants to wear it. Huh. But when you take the garment off, it's weightless. Ooh. So you can package it, and if somebody's pulling up on you, you feel me? I can turn to Brock Lesnar in this bitch. Yeah. If I need to. But if I don't, it gets heavy. You know what I mean? And so he gets that gift, and he tells him about it, but he also tells him the stipulation of the longer you wear it, the heavier it gets, and it can get to the point where you can't take it off anymore, and you'll die in this, this skin know when to have presence and know when to not need it. So he's just learning all these morality skills as he goes on. And then I'd say his final test, because I don't want to go through too many of them. I'd say his third and final test is uh, the gift to to see again. And that would be with either the taking of a life, I'd say, or the swapping of eyes. Saying that somebody else would have to go through the same ordeal. But I feel like everything else was like a token I, kind no, of thing. I, I feel like it, 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 I definitely agree with you. This, it being maybe he goes to like six or seven. But this is an epic. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is something that, exactly. like, this is something that can go on. So this is more. him just trying to get to a town mm-hmm. that he'll be accepted in because he's still missing his eyes no matter what, right? So maybe it's a. It's him giving up all the these items to be allowed into a um, into an altar of Hermes to talk to him. Ooh, nice! There you go. And okay, here we go. There we go. There yeah, we yeah. Go. go ahead. So he 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 comes to the end of his journey, and and let's take out the the ability to be able to see. But he hears the two voices that gave him the cloak and that gave him uh, the staff. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you know, if there is a way to to talk this out, but you would have to go to the statue of Hermes or, or, or the whatever of Hermes, right? And he's like, you know, he's the one that he's the, the, this whole shit is the reason that I'm here. And so you have to go to that whole like uh this nigga put me in this situation. I gotta go like grovel to him. Like this is all because some somebody stole some shit, and I was just trying to be nice and hand it back to somebody. Yeah. And nobody gave me no due process. I'm just blinded and sent out into the wilderness. All of my things given to you. Mm-hmm. And so you have to take that uh, emotional baggage and put that onto his character for being able to overlook that. Yeah. And, I- and still, you know, come to an agreement or. As well as uh, him uh, taking off everything that has made him that new person. Yeah. And going down to the bare bones to that man who was crawling down the path because he couldn't see at yeah. the beginning of this journey. So he's like, you can you go. You came in like a warrior. Exactly. But you left 
like a layman. There's many things because he's killed. He's fucking. He's done all these things in this journey um, that were unnamed. But he's like to go into this altar. You'd have to take off the the cloak to fit through the door. Mm, so right? each so each level going into it, you you unmask yourself to be what you were stripped at down the to start the bare of this. bones, and and the door's low enough that you have to go on your hands and knees. And that's how through. you start it. How you start the journey is how you end it. Exactly. And so he was like, "But you can't just leave this here because it's not just a something that you can a blessing to be discarded." So he finds somebody. So he goes through and finds somebody a small like man and shit like that or whatever the fuck and then he gives him this and then he gives him the staff to the to the hungry family and tells them the rules to this but this is but this is now your weight to bear just like it was my weight to bear oh you know we you know be corny and cheese ball but I, I i gotta do it is that he's handing the staff over and as he's walking away he's waving at them and a kid runs up and he's like hey dad can i touch you? he's like no midas Oh, that. <laughs> hella gay. <laughs> just, just start, start, like, you know just start ripping off hella yeah. Greek mythology. Fuck just Aladdin. Like, you're like, His nigga, pull dad. it up. And guess who it is? A boo. Guess who we saw? Hey, you the dope fiend. <laughs> well, yeah, so he does that, and he crawls on his hands and knees to... First, it was anger that... They say like, who, who, whoever they are, say like, hey, Hermes, you know, would like your audience and shit like that. And he's like, man, fuck that nigga, bro. Like, look at me, what, where the fuck I am. Look at me now, though. How I started this journey, and look at me now, I'm big. And then now he stripped everything. He's away. like, I've, I've, I've received favor from gods. Yeah, exactly. Sh- should I bow to, to them? But when it, I'm on their, and it's not, not even, even like and it's not even thing. favor. It's really they're just trying to prove that you deserve this, and you didn't deserve it. So he crawls and goes to him. Well, he did, and that's why he was. Each thing was a, 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 to prove a, a fault. To, to yeah, to prove that to he prove was that going he was, to be something. Exactly that he and was going to be that. And he head. made it through the journey. Yeah, showed that like he wasn't going to flex on eggs when he didn't need to flex. Yeah, he showed that he wasn't going to strike people dead essentially with that golden staff. Yeah, and other things that he procured through this whole yeah. thing. And hey, Brett comes up. He he gaudy, comes up. Bro. He like, comes exactly. up looking Gucci. And um, he sits down with Hermes and they have that conversation. And he just gives him like a parable of, you know, misfortunate things just happen to good people. But you found, you know what I mean? That you can build wherever, however you are. If you, you get your legs amputated, if you're missing your sight, you're deaf now, you're this and that. You're still that person. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're missing. You're, you're still who you are on the inside and out. Your 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 road will still end, but and you're still the driver. Exactly. Just because you're off road a little bit right yeah. now, you build a new road and you keep it going. Yeah, you're still the person, and the, it, it doesn't matter what you cannot see anymore. Mm-hmm. And then he takes that. He takes that shit, bro. And and I want the oh, shit, come on. but I want this shit to end with him. Being just a devout follower of of Hermes even more, and just in with this nigga like cleaning the fucking altar and keeping it clean and shit like that, and being that that person in the altar. How do you feel I, about that? I think I think it would be nice to end the Odyssey. It's, it's an Odyssey, not an epic. It's an Odyssey because it's gonna be a long journey. There's gonna be numerous gods. Yeah, but I think uh, I think he should be sent out to gift the humans. With these gifts, ooh, and it ends with him like spending his. Now it doesn't end with like you seeing it happen, but you hear that Hermes is saying that you know you have the spirit of somebody who is just, mm-hmm. and and that is that is not you know frequent in in humans. Yeah, just so, people s- attract just people. Exactly. So I'll give you this satchel full of you know, objects mm-hmm. and is your duty he, for the rest of your he's days. Essentially just gifting people in Greek mythology with all the gifts that they had. Yeah. And, and, and um, the rest of your days you'll be giving out these, you know what I mean? These blessings and shit. Yeah. And, and, and because that, that leads into more stories. Cause I, I definitely, I like Greek mythology. So I want, I want to just keep in that, that vein and, and definitely do something else with it. 
And if you throw out a nigga who's just gifting people with shit, mm-hmm. it's called plot holes, baby. When you got a plot <laughs> hole, you're just like, oh, and then, you know, daddy, exactly. is, daddy is pulled up. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so. And, uh, b- but maybe he doesn't, since he doesn't have sight now, he he doesn't need the, the touch of ground anymore. I think that'd be pretty fly because otherwise he'd just be a, oh, actually, it'd be pretty interesting to um, to have him not look like he's about to give you a blessing. So he just has this stick on in these roads and shit like that. And people don't fuck with him. And he's wearing, what it is, he's wearing a cloak. To that, disguise himself as somebody who he's not. Hmm, how so? Because look, I'm taking it as like this. If what's going to appeal to me is not going to appeal to you all the time. And it's definitely not going to appeal to Mike. Definitely not going to appeal to your father. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we all have a different eye on when we see somebody and how we interpret them. Mm-hmm. So what it is, is you you interpret the person that's coming towards you as a person that you deserve to see. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. So, I like that. So, like so that. your third eye is only open, baby, if you're willing to blink. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got gems tonight, doggy. This thing is on it, bro. This thing is on it. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, baby, so, you don't know the fuck you're talking about, bud. So, but he, <laughs> he see, he see, you see what you're, what you have the potential to be out of that person. Mm. So you could walk by him and not even notice him because you don't deserve to have any gift. Yeah, you're prideful. You're 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 lustful. You're you're all of the deadly sins. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and maybe those are the two gifts that Hermes gifted him with: is that cloak and that satchel. Yep, and it's just giving out blessings, dog. Yeah. He's just dropping blessings on niggas. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah, dude. That was good. That was good. And maybe like all together, it was six things. In no. All... <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I just want to tell I you no, hell of hard. Delete all this shit. <laughs> You've been muted the whole time. I'm just like, <laughs> all you hear is me heavy breathing. Um, but yeah, that was great. Yeah, and um, what do you want to call this? Uh, to walk the earth. To walk the earth. Can we come up with a better name? Yes, we can. Yeah, because I, 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 like I feel like now that it's said, sounds a lot better than to walk the earth. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, forever Odyssey. walk. <laughs> the Odyssey of Thaddeus. Leave it, leave it Greek, bro. Yeah, the Odyssey, the the Epic of Thaddeus. It's a, but you, you yeah, but the Odyssey, you, yeah, the Od- Odyssey of Thaddeus, the Odyssey of Thaddeus, <laughs> the Odyssey. <audio? laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. saying it too many times now. Yeah, now I'm saying, guess now I'm saying, body, body, yeah, yeah, let's call it the Odyssey of, of nice. Thaddeus. Okay, bet. Boom, pal. How you like me now? How you like oh! Pat now? My nigga, hey, you baby. We in here, dog. We back in here, baby. This is Scrapbook Podcast, Director's Cut. That was Patrick's. Uh, two out of the park, baby. We're hitting dingers out here, baby. Bangers Only Club, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> the Odyssey of Thaddeus. I am your host, Jody Pratt, with my fellow host, Patrick Whitfall. Yo. We love you. Don't stop being creative.